What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to wrap up the Gauntlet series for the Soundcore Liberty Fours. Their final opponent will be the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. This should be a very interesting uh, closing uh, for this uh, Gauntlet series. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we're back in the final round of the Gauntlet series for the Soundcore Liberty Fours. Their final opponent, the, Bu the Buzz 2 Pro from Samsung, the Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro from Samsung. Let's go ahead and talk price. The Galaxy Buds 2 Pro come in at $229.99. Uh, you can get these or actually get them on a trade. And I don't know if he's still available, but uh, last last time I checked it was. It's been a little bit, but you can get these for as low as $159.99 with a qualified trade-in on Samsung's website. Uh, as far as the uh, Liberty 4, Liberty 4s, yes. <laughs> They are priced at $149.99. Uh, you can get them at their respective uh, manufacturer's website as well as Amazon. As usual, uh, the links will be in the description. Let's go ahead and uh, talk specs for these guys. As far as the Buzz 2 Pro, they come with Bluetooth 5.3 rather. I was getting ready to say 2, 5.3. <laughs> they only support Codex AAC and SBC. I think that was a uh, kind of a miss there as far as the, you know, missing the high res audio uh, codecs. Uh, they do have uh, active noise canceling. Um, they use, they say they have a high SNR microphones, um, two on the inside, two on the outside, one on two on the outside, one on the inside. They're supposed to help with noise canceling uh, with these earbuds. As far as battery life, the earbuds themselves with ANC on can get you up to five hours uh, playback time, up to eight hours without ANC on or with ANC off. Let's put it that way. Uh, in the case, if you add that in, up to 18 hours with noise canceling turned on, up to 29 hours with noise canceling turned off. The case does support quick charging. Five minutes will get you an hour of playback time. And the case also supports wireless charging. Uh, as far as water resistance, the earbuds are rated at IPX7. And as far as special features go, uh, they do have auto switch, uh, which allows you to switch between paired devices. Uh, they also have, uh, of course, support Google Fast Pair, but this is only on Galaxy devices. And they also have their uh, proprietary version of uh, multipoint. Again, this is if you have them connected to uh, Galaxy devices such as tablets, watches, uh, phones, etc. Any other Google device, uh, it will not work with. All right. Now, as we move over to the Liberty Fours, you do get also get Bluetooth 5.3. They support AAC, SBC, and LDAC. Uh, they do have adaptive ANC powered by the Hair ID technology. Uh, we'll I will walk take you a little brisk walk through that. Uh, later on, as far as the earbuds, they, they can give you up to nine hours of playback time. If you add the case, you can get up to 28 hours of playback time. The case does support quick charge. 15 minutes will get you three hours of playback time. And of course, you can wirelessly charge the case and earbuds uh, with this package. As far as IP rating, they are rated at IPX4. I misspoke in the past where I've read that they did not have uh, an IPX rating because of the uh, the, heart, the heart rate sensors inside the ear to earbuds, but I've been corrected. They are uh, IPX4, which is good for the gym, and if you get caught in the rain with them, you're, you'll be fine. As far as special features, it has the heart rate sensor, as I mentioned before. They do offer a 360 uh, spatial audio and multi-point pairing and connecting to any uh, two devices, all right? So both of these guys are uh, feature packed. Um, and as usual, I will go ahead and leave the links in the description where you can uh, take advantage of the price of these two uh, pairs of earbuds. So let's continue. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pull one of each of these out. We can take a look at them. Obviously there are two totally different form factors. Uh, as you can see, uh, the obviously pencil style for the Liberty fours, and you've got more like your, uh, basic, uh, 
uh, in-ear earbud for the, uh, excuse me, the Buzz 2 Pro. Uh, let's go ahead and focus on this one real fast. As you can see, I kind of like it. It takes some of the, uh, uh, takes some of the, uh, steps or features from the, uh, Liberty, uh, excuse me, the, I'm getting all my words confused. The Galaxy Buzz Pro, the, the first edition, and also the, the Galaxy Buds. Uh, they take a little bit from both of those and um, came up with this uh, form factor uh, for this uh, Buzz 2 Pro. Uh, I do like the matte black and the, uh, the matte gray and the black contrast. I do like how they did that. Uh, it's a very um, small earbud, uh, one on the smaller scale. Uh, as far as all the other ones, uh, as far as all the in-ear earbuds that I own, it's definitely one of the smaller, uh, more discreet earbud. Uh, they do feel real comfortable in the ear and, uh, the touch, uh, sensitive, uh, touch, uh, sensitivity is, uh, uh, nicely done. Um, yeah, I never had a problem, um, missing the touch rim, not recognizing it. All right. As we move on to the, uh, Liberty fours, obviously a pencil style much shorter than your uh, more average uh, pencil style earbuds. Uh, I do like that. I like that discreetness to it. Of course, you know, they got the ergonomic uh, uh, back in here that fits into the ear well, sits in there nice and snug. And I do, uh, like I said, I am a fan. I've said this before. I am a fan of the uh, comply phone tips. I think you get a better seal uh, with them in your ear, but I have to admit these, uh, these silicone tips that are specifically made for this earbud, these are very, very, very comfortable. I really like, I, you know, I can go in and have these in and like if I pause it or something or have it in transparency mode, but I have my audio pause, I can walk around and not really realize I have these in my ear. They're that comfortable until uh, something happens in it, the way it allows me to uh, realize that they're air. But yes, are very, very comfortable earbuds. Uh, and I do like, uh, I just wish, uh, I do like the, the gray and the black gloss contrast. I really wish like, uh, something, one of these two, I think like the outer here was like a matte, uh, matte black. And then you got the gloss gray contrast. That would have been really sharp in my opinion, uh, on these guys. All right, let me go ahead and, uh, pull up some pictures. We're going to take a look at them in the air. We go with the uh, uh, Liberty Fours, as you can see, they sit in real nice, but they do not take up a lot of space of the a lot of the air well. So you do uh, you do get it nice and snug right in the air. And as you can see, whoops, as you can see, the uh, boom arm doesn't go that far outside the air, which I really like for uh, discreetness. It's a very uh, very nice feel to so them. Very comfortable, very light in the air. All right, as you can see here, it takes up quite a bit of the uh, ear canal or the uh, ear well rather, but it sits in nice and comfortably uh, within the ear canal, uh, very light. Um, and of course, the touchpad is a little bit prominent, so uh, you can touch it here or right here close to the front of your ear, um, and it will still pick up uh, the command that you want. Very uh, Another comfortable one. I use these at work. I have them uh, at home, like in bed, I'm watching something on my tablet. I, I wear them then, uh, same with the, uh, the Liberty fours, very comfortable earbuds. Uh, overall, I really enjoy wearing them both. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get these paired up. We're going to take a walk through their apps. We're going to start off with the, uh, galaxy buzz two pro. So stay strapped in. All right. We back in, we got the bot, the, Galaxy Bus 2 Pros already paired up. So let's go ahead and jump into their app. All right, as you can see here, you got the picture of the AirBuds, the name of the AirBuds, and the left and right, you got the AirBud icon, left and right letter, and their battery levels, okay? Moving on, if you hit the little three bars there, you can go ahead and switch between devices. Uh, if you wanna check them, you know, devices so you can connect to their their uh, version of the wear of the wearable app and see if they need updates or anything like that. All right, moving on. You got your noise can your noise controls. I got no. You got A and C, and of course you got ambient noise. 
Obviously, there's turned off because I do not have the earbuds in my ear. All right. And then moving on, you got your voice to tech. Basically, if you start talking, it will lower your the volume of whatever you're listening to. And then when you're done, after so many seconds, it returns to the, your, uh, your original volume level. Uh, you got your touch controls. You can do double tap, triple tap, tap and hold and call controls. You cannot single tap. Uh, well, sorry, you can single tap, double tap, triple tap, and then touch and hold, uh, for, uh, the left and right. Well, actually, let me see. Let me back that up. <laughs> let me back that up. I got a little confused there. All right. The only thing you can change on these earbuds is the touch and hold feature. You can turn off the single double and triple tap with these toggle switches and you can turn off everything with this one, but you can only change the touch and hold. Everything else is set by default, even calls, uh, double tap to answer and end calls, triple tap, tap or touch and hold to decline the call. All that is already preset on the earbuds, so you cannot change them. All right. Now that I got myself ironed out on that, let's continue. All right. You got your earbud settings. You go in, you got your equalizer. It's not an actual equalizer, but you do got some presets you can try. Uh, we got it on normal because we do the sound test with them. Then of course you got your ear bit, your earbud fit test. Then you got where you can read your notifications out loud and read them right into your, uh, they'll just read them to you as they come in. You got your use ambient sound during phone calls. I'll, I usually have that turned on so that way you're not yelling uh, at the person on the other end. And uh, you got your in-ear detection for calls. Then you got, I, yeah, I have that. You, I thought I had that turned on. Then you got seamless earbud connection. Now that is their version of multipoint, and that only works within side within the Google ecosystem or Google, the Galaxy ecosystem. Uh, when it comes to like the tablets, the phones, the watch, etc., it will you know, you can easily switch between them and the, you know, those devices. All right. Then of course you got your neck stretch reminder. I like this because I don't, I don't have it turned off right now, but basically what it does is it detects that how long that you're like hunched over or anything like that. Like if you're at your desk or something like that, and you're working on your laptop or computer and you listen to some music or whatever, it will, the earbuds will detect how long you're, you've been sitting in that certain position and it'll ask you to say, Hey, I think it's about time you stretch, you know, stretch your neck and everything, get up, move around, or just like move your head, you know, in like a circular motion or something like that, just to, uh, alleviate any build up stress or anything like that in the muscles and everything. Very, very good thing. Uh, very good, uh, uh, device or feature to have. If you go into labs here, you can, where you can set double, Tap the edge of the earbuds will allow you to do your functions and everything, um, which is a good feature to have. Like that way you don't have to feel like you're pressing the earbud into your ear. When you go to tap uh, for functionality, you can just hit right on the edge of the ear and it would walk you through that. All right. And then of course you can reset the earbuds and you got accessibility for like the hearing impaired or anything like anyone like that. You got features in there. Of course you can, do your earbud updates and anything about the earbuds themselves. All right. And that is a quick walkthrough of the galaxy wearable app for the galaxy Buzz two pro. We're going to go ahead and get them swapped out and we'll take a look at the, uh, sound core app for the Liberty four. So stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. We got the Liberty fours already paired up. So let's go ahead and jump into their app. As you can see, you got a picture of the both earbuds, and then of course you got the name of the earbuds here. Then you've got the uh let me see if I can get that in a little closer here. You got the left, right ear, and case earbud case and their battery levels. I don't know if you can see that any good. Let's see if I can get that in focus as best I can. All right, so that's how you see it there. Now moving on, you got your ambient sounds, you got noise canceling, normal and transparency mode. Under noise canceling, you do have different modes. You, you got to enable hear ID and C on there. Um, of course, if you tap on that, you got to go through the hear ID test to get that set up. And then of course, in transparency mode, you got other modes. You got fully transparent as well as vo vocal mode where you just focus on voice. I have it at fully transparent. So I'm hearing everything. 
Okay, as far as sound effects, you do have LDAC. I've turned into a big fan of that. You have LDAC, then of course you got your spatial audio, your spatial effects um, will allow you to do like your head tracking or a fixed. Fixed is basically is coming from one direction. Head tracking is if you like turn to the left or right, it's always in front of you. So if you turn to the to the left, it's coming out your it's going into your right ear If you turn to the right, it's going into your left ear bud. Very nice done of course you got your different modes movie mode and music mode all right and of course you got your hear id sound you can go ahead and use that but you have to of course you got to do the test and everything like that you got your default equalizer this will give you all the uh all the legendary sound core uh presets that you can choose from then of course you've got your custom where you can go ahead and create your own custom eq Right now, I, this is mine here. If you want to pause it and then give it a shot. Uh, and then of course I have it set to, to zero for the sound test. Um, and the last one I did do with the LDAC against the uh, Liberty, excuse me, against the Space 840s. That was a pretty good uh, and pretty interesting uh, head to head there. Uh, but in this one, we will have LDAC turned off. All right, so you got your controls. Or you can do your left and right, your squeeze controls, however you want to set those up. All right. And then, of course, we hit the little gear up in the, up here in the upper right. You can say exactly how much pressure, um, how much squeeze, squeeze force, as they call it, for in order to trigger functionality uh, with the air buzz because you got to squeeze the stem in order for, you know, the functionalities to work. All right. And then let's move on. Of course, now you have your Santa Core Wellness. This will track if you're like at the gym or anything, you want to track your uh, statistics as far as duration, how many calories with, you know, as far as your heart rate and stress uh, detection, uh, whatever uh, you want, uh, you can go ahead and uh, set that up. You can set it up for weekly activity and everything. So it'll monitor you during the course of a week to see how you do and stuff like that. And it's a very detailed app. Uh, feature within the app. Then, of course, if you go up here into the upper right, the gear here, tap on that. You can go ahead and do your fit test. You have your in ear detection. You have your dual connection set up where uh, you can, can have it turned on so you can connect to multiple devices at once. Of course, when I was using LDAC, that automatically got turned off. Uh, if I rather, you know, I rather have multi point than uh, LDAC, if you ask me. I mean, even though it sounds good and I'm a big fan, if I had to choose one, I'm going with multi-point. All right, I got on that little rant. All right, so now back to what we're doing here. <laughs> you got the prompt tone, you know, your prompt tones. You got your auto power off, 30 minutes. Uh, I have mine set to. Basically, if you're not, there's no activity in the Airbus for 30 minutes, they shut off. And of course, you got your about, which tells you about the app and the uh, Airbus. You got your firmware update function here. We can go out. Of course, and check for updates, and it'll cut you a uh, user manual where it'll take you to the website where the manual is there. All right, and that is a quick walkthrough of the Soundcore app for the Liberty Fours. What we're going to do now, we're going to do a mic test between the two, and then we're going to follow that up with the sound test. So stay strapped in. This is a mic test with the Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Soundcore Liberty 4s in a semi-quiet location. This is a mic test with the Soundcore Liberty 4s in a semi-quiet location. This is a mic test with the Soundcore Liberty 4s in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Soundcore Liberty 4s in a crowded location. All right, we're back in. We got the Buzz 2 Pro already paired up. So let's jump into some music. All right. First up, let's see what we got. We gonna, um, you know what? We gonna do some, uh, we gonna do it a little backwards. We gonna go into Rough Riders first. Let's do it. Get up to our volume level. All right. All right, we got good good bass. 
Very nice base. That is banging. All right. Okay, it's great base. Got good. Got. I'm gonna say. Oh, I'm gonna say good. Uh, vocals. But it. I don't know. It just. It just. It just sounds flat almost to me. Like I don't know. Not flat, but. It, but it's got good bass. I, I. I don't know. I can't find a word for it. So I'm a. I'm. I'm just gonna say they got you know it's a good sound. All right, let's go ahead. It, it, it got the bass and it was punching and everything. It, it just felt like it was lacking something um, in that song. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and change things up a little bit. Let's go in. Let's go ahead and hit Lenny Kravitz up. Actually, you know what? Let's change that. Let's do some, some baby face. Let's see what we got for baby face. Let's see. Oh, um, here we go. Grown and sexy. Let's go ahead and do that. Baby face grown and sexy. Let's do that. Okay. Now this one sounds better. It sounds like it's got a little bit more life to it. Great bass. Nice, nice vocal. Really, very nice, good, very nice vocals. All right, we're gonna put this on. Yeah, we're gonna add that to the list, but very nice, very good sound. I love it. All right, very good sound. Uh, the vocals are coming through very nice. The balance it's got a balanced sound to it. Doesn't sound as I, I don't know with the uh, with the Rough Rider song. It just sound like it was just. I'm gonna say flat. I mean, even though it wasn't flat, it, I mean that's like the best the best description I have right now for that song. But this one had a little bit of life to it, at, you know. You could feel the beat. It was, you you know, you felt good and everything. So it was a good sound. All right. So let's go ahead and jump in. You know, we're going home. So let's go, Kenny. All right. Now you got a nice warm sound here. Well balanced. Just, it just feels like you're like right in front of uh, everybody playing They're You know, they're, the spread out is nice sounding. Doesn't have you like in a box. Sounds great. Uh, all right, we got a, it's a good good sound to the uh, saxophone. Yeah, it's just a yep. Yeah, it's a good sound to the saxophone there. Yep. Okay. I, I'm really in. I, I like it. I like it. It's a really good sound from these earbuds. All right, let me get a little bit more. I'm going to pause it. Let me get a little bit more. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. I could listen to that all night, but it's a. It's got a good sound. Um. It, it was good uh, lead vocal. I didn't do lead vocals, but the lead saxophone was good. Uh, the background um, instruments, you had good separation. You got good uh, bass from the uh, key from the keyboard and the uh, actual drums. You got a good uh, warm sound from them. It was a good good sound in that genre there. Uh, it sounded really good with uh, Babyface's song. Um, you you got you know. You, you felt pep and you know, you, you feel the beat and everything. But for some reason with the, uh, rough rider song it was just, uh, I don't know what it was, but it just didn't, didn't hit with me on that one. It sound kind of like flat or it was like more treble. And although the bass was there, it seemed like the treble and Miz were turned up a little bit. I think that's what the problem was with those. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this swapped out. 
and then we'll give the uh, sp- the uh, Liberty Fours a shot at the sound test. So stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. We got the Liberty Four Pros already paired up. So let's go ahead and jump into some music. Uh, we already been in there. All right, first up, we're gonna go into the rough into Rough Riders. All right, here we go. All right, we're at we're at my favorite listening volume level. All right. All right. Now these have a little bit more life to it. All right. Then the uh Buzz 2 Pro for some reason, these it sounds like it has a little bit more more life. It has good bass, but Buzz 2 Pro is a little bit better on the bass side of this. Yeah, I, I it had good bass. It had good sound. It had a little bit more life to it, in my opinion, uh, as overall sound. But as far as bass, I have to give the nod to the, the Buzz 2 Pro on that one for that song. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to go into... Uh, Oh yeah, Babyface, where was we? Let's see if we can get Babyface back up on here. I thought he was on this list. Yeah. Whoops, that's not what I was looking for. Ah, sorry about that, everybody. There we go. All right, I didn't update it. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, good overall sound. Got good. Again, naturally, the bass is good. Buds 2 Pro is better. But you got nice, clean, uh, Clear vocals. Very nice. Okay. Got nice, nice sound stage. Everything is, everything is sounding good. Separation is there. Very good. Again, you got clear uh, vocals. Um, Just a nice overall sound there on that one. So, uh, let's go ahead and take it home, Kenny G. Let's go. Again, nice warm uh, bass uh, from from the keyboard. Believe it or not, you got a little little bit of a drum in there, but now you got nice sound separation from all the instruments. However, and let's hear this uh, lead sax. Okay. Very clean. Very clear. Very nice. A very nice sound. Let me get a little bit more. I really love this. Let me get a little bit more. All right. So very good sound, man. These these guys do come to play, I have to admit. For 150 bucks, they come to play. All right. Okay. I can listen to that forever, but very good sound. Uh, nice sound separation uh, with the, you know, it, you sound like you're, again, just like the bus to the bus to pro, you sound like you're right there in front of the stage or, uh, if they're in the studio, the, you know, they're spread out throughout this, the recording booth and you're just taking it in. It's a very good sound. Um, uh, just, just really good. And with the baby face song, you, the vocals were clean, uh, and clear, um, as far as, as well as with the, uh, rough rider song, clean and clear, uh, just a really good sound. All right, so what we're going to do, let me get this wrapped up, and I'm going to come back with my final thoughts. So stay strapped in.
All right, we are back in. My final thoughts for the finale of the Gauntlet series for the Liberty Pros. Their final contest, their final battle, their final opponent is the Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro. And I have to admit, uh, this was a really good, this was a really good uh, uh, head to head. I'm glad um, we're going out on this note uh, because they both come to play um, as far as sound goes. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into that. All right. As far as the sound, um, actually, let's stop. Let's go. As far as bass, I will have to give it to, naturally, I'll have to give it to those, the Galaxy Bus 2 Pro. Uh, in every song, it had a much stronger bass uh, presence than the uh, Liberty 4s. However, um, as far as uh, how clear, how clean, and... Uh, the vocals were on e on for both of these uh, devices. I would have to give it uh, to the Liberty Fours. Um, they had more of a clean, more of a clear uh, vocals when it came to uh, Babyface and the the crew from the Rough Riders. Um, you, they were, I mean, they were clean. They were clear. They were more. There are more clear vocals than the Buzz 2 Pro. The Buzz 2 Pro did have some um, clean vocals and everything, but this is not as as uh, as clear as the uh, the Liberty Fours. I think clear is like I'm, I'm digging for words, but I think clear will definitely uh, be the one to describe them um, as far as the vocal sound goes. So I'm gonna give that one to the uh, Liberty Fours um, overall. Sound overall volume, I'll give that to the uh Liberty. I don't know. I'll give it to the Liberty Fours on as far as overall volume, but not by much. Not by much. The uh the uh the Bus 2 Pro, um, they they do get they do got a good side, good amount of volume to them. Um, but I would have to have to give that to uh the Liberty Fours. Um let's see. Am I missing anything? Um We'll cover the ANC during the ANC challenge sometime down the line. I'll pop in with an ANC challenge between these two where we'll just focus strictly on the ANC and transparency modes and see how they sound head to head. All right. So moving on, uh, let's wrap this up. Who would I go with in a pinch if I had to choose between the two? Mm, that's a tough one. That is really going to be a tough one um, because... Because when you do, uh, like I said, one's lack as far as the sound goes, one's lacking uh, in a in an area where the other one excels at, and you know, so being a I, being able to you know pick and choose based on sound alone will be difficult. Um. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it anyway. I this is <laughs> this is gonna be tough. Uh. They got the better, more clear vocals and more clear uh, uh, things of that nature. But the Buzz 2 Pro got the better bass. Um, I guess I'm going to have the, if I had to choose one, I had to go with the uh, Liberty 4s on this one. Um, may, mainly because they got the clear uh, vocals and, you know, clean and clear vocals. And they can be adjusted for where the bass will definitely come in and uh, sound just as good as the bass, the natural bass on the uh, Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro. But let's not knock the Gal let's not knock these guys. The Galaxy Buzz 2 Pro are a really good pair of earbuds. Uh, it's just a shame that uh, Samsung is following in Apple's footsteps as far as giving you all the best features within their ecosystem as opposed to, uh, which is basically forcing you to buy uh, Galaxy phones, Galaxy watches, uh, Galaxy tablets, things of that nature, in order to unlock the full potential of these earbuds. It's a real shame that they're going down that road that Apple is going, that Apple has been in, um, and that, you know, squeezing out the other uh, uh, Google devices from actually being able to enjoy these 
uh, at their fullest potential. Um, but they still are a very good pair of earbuds. I do own uh, the Galaxy Tab S Ultra, S8 Ultra. So I do use these with that when I'm watching uh, uh, videos and everything like that. So I do keep these in my rotation when it comes to that tablet. Uh, but my pick for tonight uh, between these two, to wrap up the Liberty Fours from Soundcore, <laughs> I am just like, it's late and I'm fumbling over my words. So that is, this has been the uh, Galaxy, the Gauntlet series. This is the finale, the final uh, contest of this series for the Soundcore Liberty uh, Fours. Uh, the Galaxy Bus 2 Pro, definitely a worthy contender to finish it off. Uh, it's just, I would go with the uh, Liberty Fours because the things that it lacks in naturally, they do offer the equalizer where you can fix it. All right. Again, thanks for coming out and hollering at your boy. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to join me uh, continuously on this journey, uh, just go ahead and hit subscribe and then hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when videos are coming out. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Ron on tech. Uh, I would really like to see you guys out there again. Uh, thanks again for coming out and checking out your boy. And I'll see you on the next one. Liberty fours win the final round. Have a good one, everyone. Peace.